Good boy. <laughs> hey, good morning, guys. Uh, just woke up like not that long ago, but look, it's a sunny day again. I'm about to head over to our car, uh, to a cars and coffee. Uh, I usually don't go to these things because it's so early in the morning that I just like I'm too lazy to get up and get myself out of bed. But you know, it's starting at 9:30. It's already like 10, so I'm not gonna be there on time. But it should should be fine. I'm gonna be heading there with Sean in a little bit. I'm getting dressed right now. I'm just like debating what to wear because the weather has been so inconsistent. Like it's sunny right now, so it's warm. But then like literally. Like the sun could drop set like a little bit and the weather will tank like 20 degrees. So getting dressed right now. But there's also a road that I've been wanting to check out uh, somewhere in Long Island that you guys have been recommending me actually. So I might go there today while we have the sun and you know check out the roads, do a little bit of driving on the toges. Maybe. Uh but yeah, that's what's going on right now. I'm just like I'm like in this like brain fog because I just woke up not that long ago. But yeah, uh, let me get dressed real quick and I'm gonna be heading out right now. Yo, I don't know if you guys see this, but <laughs> I got so much cat fur like on my pants because Mona, well, my cat Mona has been like rubbing up on my leg. There's just so much cat fur on my pants right now. It's not like I don't even like, it's not like I don't like groom him or anything, right? I comb his hair like every other night. Look, he's doing it again. I'm just getting so much fur on me, but it's not like I don't comb him. I do and he just like sheds so much I don't know if it's the season for it or whatnot, but Damn you be making all my clothes dirty Mona It's actually kind of chilly outside, so I'm glad I wore the sweater But let's get a little cold start going for you. It was raining the night before So it's been pretty cold overnight. Let's see here neutral It's like, even though I know the car is good, right? Every time I start it up, I'm just like, fingers crossed, nothing happened, didn't, didn't blow Apex or anything like that. You know, just <laughs> rotary things. But speaking of rotary things, look at this, guys. I gotta, gotta get gas again. Oh my god, so annoying, bro. It's literally like, I feel like I refilled like three, four times already this week. It's kind of crazy. Granted, it is Sunday, so it's the end of the week, but still, that's, that's too much. You get me almost getting hit by a car on video? What? No? 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 Okay, good. <laughs> Bro, this is like the smallest cars and coffee I've been to <laughs> in a bit. It's like 10 cars. 10 cars? What? Maybe 12. Maybe 12. Yo, why are we at Starbucks outside of Yo, where we from? live here? At least they know us here. I don't know why we're chilling at a Starbucks outside of work. Yo, you want to go to Cars and Coffee by a Starbucks. You could choose like a Dunkin' Donuts and actually cafe. I don't know, bro. Small meat, you know? Cool vibes, though. <laughs> so much bird poop on my hood, bro. Oh my god, so much, so much shown. I should take it to her for a wash, to be honest. Like, there's a wash like right there. <laughs> there is. I have to ask, how much horsepower are you making on this, bro? Um, don't know yet. I only got first, second, and third uh, tune, the street tune. Okay. Oh, my plan to put on the dyno soon, bro. Yeah, yeah. This turbo is as big as my head, bro. Look. I could definitely see now where like yeah, look, you know the the similarity like to the super that we just drove. Looks exactly like a super. Yeah, like the little you know the the, the display over there and then the, the shifter. Shifter is exact same. Shifter is exact. I don't think it's the exact oh, wait, no, same. No, no, that that has a handbrake. The, the super doesn't. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think all right. European cars are nice, right? I just don't think I'll ever buy one myself. Except you for know? the Supra. Except for the Supra, BMW Supra is the only car I probably buy. I got one, bro. Nah, I'm good. All right, it's currently like what? The the meat no. ends at 12 and it's like 11. 
two no, GTRs. No, he better like, park next to the other like, GTR. It's like 11.40 and there's still cars pulling up. I think that's pretty cool. What time does the meet end? Like what, 12 or 12.30? 12. 12? Whatever you want to call it. But the thing yeah. is, you can stay here longer. Yeah. yeah. Yo, not gonna lie, they look pretty good. Look pretty good. Yo, I think McDonald's has become like a, a tradition whenever we go to car meets. It's the last time. Tradition every time we hang out at this point. Yeah, honestly, we just love McDonald's too much. Hey guys, so just got back in the car. I'm about to head out to the road that I was talking about earlier today. I'm um, gonna check out this new road that you guys been suggesting to me. It's out in Long Island though, it's about an hour away, which kind of sucks because it's literally just as far as if I was to head up to the mountains. So if I was looking for a place to drive, right? This is like, I would, I mean, I think I would prefer going up to the mountains than somewhere in Long Island. Cause obviously there's more residential areas in Long Island, but wow, car started right up. But before we get going though, I have to get gas. I'm gonna get gas and then I'm gonna head up to the road that you guys been suggesting. All right, so, uh, all right, so I'm at the road now, but like I said earlier, I don't, I don't enjoy coming out to the roads out here in Manhattan, I mean, not Manhattan, Long Island as much as I do in, in the mountains. Well, that's really cause there's a lot of residential around here. And you know, if you're, if you want to drive spiritedly, you don't, obviously you don't want to be in an area where there's residentials because there will be people walking around. It could be kids walking around. So I'm just taking it slow right now, but this has been a road that's been recommended by a lot of you guys so I do want it you know I wanted to come check it out so here I am uh, I'm just gonna take a slow right here because there's a lot of residentials but from like Google Maps right there there is like a, a section of the road where there won't be as much residentials so hopefully once we get to that part of the road we could open it up a little bit and you know have a little bit of fun today talking as much it's because I, I never really been on this road this is my first time here so and it doesn't help that I there's a lot of houses at like certain parts of the road I mean parts like this right it's, it's just really empty which is great but there are parts of it where there's a lot of houses and that kind of worries worries me and that's honestly why I don't like coming out to Long Island and drive as much even though there are okay, hope the camera didn't come off there even though there are nice roads like this right it just sucks that every other corner, or not every other corner, but like once every few corners, there's a stretch of roads where there are houses and it's just not really safe. You know, it's not something I like to do, but <laughs> allegedly, you know, I'm, it's not like I'm speeding or anything, but if you were speeding on these roads, uh, you would, uh, you risk the chance of like, you know, getting people hurt and that's obviously not a thing you want to do. There's also a lot of bikers and just people on Harleys in general. So. Um, I think clearly this is a road that a lot of people drive like spiritedly, but you just got to be really careful um, There's definitely I mean granted. I, I feel like there's an equal amount of danger here there here you risk like, you know uh, Running into pedestrians uh, But in Bear Mountain you wear you risk the chance of you know falling off a cliff But one of them involves just yourself and then this you know one of them involves other people and obviously if you are gonna be driving Spiritedly, you want yourself to be the only one put in danger, you know, you don't want to risk other people as well. That's cool. 
there's a lot of bikers here. So, I mean, port, you see a 911, you see bikes. Clearly, this is a road that people like to drive on. So, you know, I get why you guys recommended it. It, it is a pretty fun road. It's just really scary. Not even like the driving part, but just the residential. excited man uh, I'm really excited for when my exhaust does come in it's gonna cuz right now I think the car sounds good right now right I think it sounds good but once the exhaust come in and I could really like hear everything I'm just really excited for that because even though it sounds pretty good right now it's still the muffler the stock muffler does a lot to restrict the flow and once I get like a proper aftermarket axle back like or just like a cat back man it's gonna free up all that flow and it's just gonna i think it's gonna be so much better and i'm just really excited for it i think uh, we're gonna be stuck behind this uh whoa there's so much bikers out of nowhere but i think we're gonna be stuck behind this oh he's letting us pass thank you Okay, I take, I take back what I said. I, I, I was gonna say, I think we're gonna be stuck behind this car for the rest of this road here, but he let us pass, so. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll catch up, we'll speed up a little bit. So I don't want him to let me pass and then I'm just going at the same speed anyways, right? Alright guys, uh, there's actually this like, really nice turn-in area over here, so pretty much 
you come in through there you loop in here and then you just you know take the road again so it's a it's a really nice road i gotta admit um thank you guys so much for recommending this road to me by the way i would not have found out this road if you guys didn't suggest it to me in the comment section i think like about a month ago i made uh or maybe even longer now but uh a little back i made a video like toge search right something like that and i went up to nyack and i found a road there i mean i didn't find it I, I, someone gave me that location but i mentioned in the video i wanted to find more local roads and this one was one that you guys recommended a lot in the comment section and here i am checking it out my camera's bugging out right now because i think it's just too bright and there's a lot of dust flying around so it's hitting the sensors but yeah i'm just gonna wrestle a little bit i'm probably gonna head home after this but the car just looks really nice right now in this sunlight now if the paint was better the paint was better i think it would be a really beautiful car but it is beautiful still but yeah i'm just gonna rest a little bit and i'm gonna probably go back home because my phone's dying and it's about an hour and 30 minutes drive back home so I, I can't not have gps so i need to conserve my phone battery a little bit so yeah that's yeah <laughs> all right what's up guys uh so thank you so much for making it to the end of the video and as you can tell i made it back home but uh, i think i got home with like 10 percent battery on my phone so i'm um, glad i left when i did because it would have been pretty bad if i you know my phone ran out of battery midway home and then i had no gps so that, that, that would be pretty bad but yeah that was a road that you guys suggested suggested to me a while back um i've been meaning to test it out but you know I'm pretty sure you guys know from my other videos the weather has just been like terrible or if you guys live in New York as well The weather has just been terrible. It looks okay right now But it's actually about to rain soon. So in like another two hours it's about to start raining for the rest of today So yeah, it's just a lot of rain Not not good weather, but thankfully summer is just around the corner So hopefully when that time comes around we, I could go back up to the mountains do some more runs there with my friends and their cars And that would be a lot of fun, but yeah, um, thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video I don't think I really have much more to update you guys on at the moment. I'm still waiting for my exhaust to come in It's been like it's, it's almost about to be a month right it's almost about to be a month since i ordered it and i have no shipment updates or anything like that i'm assuming it's just going to show up in my door one of these days but yeah that's the situation of that but anyways i'm gonna wrap up this video here it's, i feel like it's probably gonna be a long enough video as it is so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one right peace